Hi, welcome back. We are going to be taking this apart a little bit. Um, we're trying to get the magnet out is the goal of this exercise. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't believe it's going to be easy, but it can be done. So we'll see if, if I'm capable of doing such a thing. So first, I know this handle unscrews, so we're going to unscrew this handle. Um, we'll take these out because we don't need these for this exercise. Uh, we have a handle. Okay. Now, this also seems like it's this wee bit where the, the handle plugs in looks like it goes through to screw this on so we're going to undo that too I'm so scared I'm not going to be able to put this thing back together again <laughs> um, okay Let's see what we've got. We've got now this goes through here, and there's no give to pull it back to stop it from coming out. So it seems like the magnet has to come out first, but <sighs> there's going to be ways and ways. Now we know that this also unscrews. This is apparently to change the the strength. I'm not entirely sure how, but it, it attaches to this metal. So we've taken this off. So we've got three screws out now. This other input for the handle, it doesn't attach to anything on the inside. Um, so we can, we can leave that, I think, at least for just now. Um, okay, this has come out. I'm not sure this Oh, that must have been screwed into it. This is going to have dropped down after taking the handle out, I guess. So we're, there we've got another bit. It feels wrong taking this apart. <laughs> it feels like it's been this way for I don't know how long. And now I'm coming in here going, no, let's, uh, let's just see what we can do to take you apart. Now... <laughs> This is strange. This is a screw. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Uh, let's get some more light on this. Okay, so this looks like it's a screw that is that goes in under the magnet. I don't know how much that holds it on. I have no idea. But there's no thread in that to be able to to get it out. So we'll leave that for just now. We'll undo this one that seems to be attached to the magnet um, and we'll undo this nut or at least try because it feels like this bar would get in the way of... we'll find out. So let's take this one out. We don't have to take this apart. Um, it really is just everything that's holding this magnet in. I'm wondering if the entire brass frame in the inside will have to be lifted out, but we're going to do this and we're going to see. So there's another cat's meowing, she wants out. Okay, so I know that this comes out, but getting that actually out, out is very difficult, but it does lift this up now that we've got rid of a bunch. Now it seems like the only thing holding this in and this handle um, which can't be pushed in um, because it's stopped by the magnet from this being able to, to come back to so let's see Oh my goodness. I 
and we were kind of there. It really is just this. Touch this handle. It's, oh, there we go. Okay, good. I was scared that we were going to have to be able to undo this, which you just couldn't get to from inside. Take off all the rest of these magnets. I'd already tried to take off as many as possible. Okay. And this wee bit just seems to be screwed into the box. This. So we'll put that back on. Let's put this here. We'll put this back out. It's doing that while the magnet was still in was such a pain in the butt. Um, no, it was this one that held that in, so we'll screw this back on because it seems like there is no real need to take it off in the first place. Screw on for me. Thank you. Okay, so there we've got our empty box. I'll give it a bit of a, a clean and polish before putting things back in again, I think. So we'll put this here for just now. We're having a look at this. Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. I assume that was to really hold the, the magnet in place. Um, we'll keep that there. We need to undo this screw to get the magnet off. I mean, do I need to get the magnet off or can I do the idea of the neodymium magnets just sitting on them here like this. And we've got an N here. I don't know which side of the neodymium batteries would be north though. Um, I would assume the re reverse side to be south. But it is just an assumption, but it's probably an assumption I'm going to act on. But even then, does that mean that the south end goes on this or the south end? <sighs> Not um, obviously my sphere of expertise, this. Okay, well, we've got it out, so I don't feel like we, we're going to need to take it apart more because, yeah, screw it. Like, there, there's just no need. Um, we can get the new diamond batteries on it. Now, what I have looked into is um, getting a new magnet, just literally buying a, a, a new magnet to replace this one. I can't find any of the size that I would need for this. Um, they're all kind of you see how these are straight parallel to each other? The bigger ones I could find came around and then the two ends kind of came slightly towards each other at the end. And I, I'm assuming it's because it's it's an old magnet that maybe they just aren't made like this anymore. I mean, I, I did a, a web search and I went through so many options so if anyone knows where I can obtain a, a magnet like this, I'm going to do the, the neodymium uh, suggestion as given by a few people on Mastodon and one person on Discord. So I'll see it. So this is about, the magnet's about 15 centimetres long, which I think is about six inches. Yeah, about six inches long, 15 centimetres long, and only about one and a half centimetres in width um, might as well do inches in width, so about half an inch in width um, I don't know if it matters like how wide these are but they're about three centimetres wide um, just about just more than an inch wide because I can replace it now that I've got it out I just have nothing that I can replace it with after doing a web search and I didn't think that would be a difficult proposition. I thought that would be quite easy to obtain, but again, maybe it's because it's it's so old. Let's place this. I want to 
because it feels like this leather is put together uh, fairly delicately to be honest and um, I'll show you what I mean in a minute see here it's like the weather's just the leather's just put together with a, a little metal wire and I don't want to, to ruin it let's get it kind of in with itself um, uh, I'll have to see about tightening that up maybe before we put it back um, maybe where it's been put together with this metal clip I can do that again maybe okay yeah, we're, we're talking magnets, aren't we? So we've got the neodymium magnets, and I was told to stack them. Uh, I have twelve, so it's six and six. But give me a moment. Let me grab the other ones. Right. So we have two stacks of these strong wee. <laughs> Neodymium magnets, they don't enjoy being close together like that. Um, I don't know if they'll enjoy being close together in order to could do them on alternate sides maybe, just to give them more distance. So, this is south. I assume that that means that I would put this on this side, the, the rear side, the, the non kind of rounded side onto this, so dot and for north I put the rounded side on, dot and then we'll leave them for a bit, right? like minutes um, and they should charge up <laughs> the magnets I think the best case, I know that there are people saying that what I should really look to do is either find someone to be able to to do it or attempt to myself. I, I, I'm not comfortable attempting it for myself and I'm not sure if I know anybody that has the wherewithal to be able to, to do the second seemingly better option, which would be to wrap um fairly fine but strong wire filament round each side a few hundred times I think people were saying it. Someone was saying like like a couple hundred, someone else was saying like a thousand times <laughs> um, regardless like you would wrap the wire right and then connect it to a car battery and that would charge it I don't drive, I don't have a car battery but also I'm not confident enough in my own skills not to electrocute myself or I don't know, set something on fire or something. I would like to try that maybe later if I can find someone to help me with it. Again, I think the best case would really just to be a replacement for this magnet and I have no idea where I might find a replacement for this magnet with its dimensions. I um, was finding some that kind of looked the part but they were only like 11 centimeters long and this is 15 centimeters long and I do feel like it has to match the size it, it has to be a duplicate of what we have here um, for the, the fittings and for where everything reaches to so if I'm going to replace it it has to be a, a magnet that's identical um, I'm not sure if it's maybe going to be worth my while attempting to de-rust some of this. I have um, ways and ways uh, to, to de-rust things. I can de-rust these just to maybe kind of um, prime the points, uh, make them a little more conductive perhaps. Um, this won't turn around at the moment because they're neodyme batteries, but uh, I could certainly like de-rust these and see if that helps. I'm willing to do anything really because um, I would like to get it to work it would be an excellent wee gadget to get working 
if we can. Um, we can get some practical attempts at using it. So we've got these magnets on at the moment. Um, just the stacks, as I was told. They're far apart. They're not touching each other. Um, it's the alternate sides of the magnets that are doing the thing. So I guess we leave it and come back and, and check out later whether it's worked or not. So when we come back, I will remove these. We'll test magnet to see if it's magnetized. If it is, then we'll make an attempt at putting it all back together again. It actually came out a lot easier than I was expecting. A lot easier and for that I'm grateful because I was foreseeing like literally having to take it out in bits and I really didn't want that to be the case. So we'll be back in a wee moment to find out whether that's worked or not. So I've spent a few days on this, just trying to clean it up a bit. I wanted to get as much rust off as possible uh, for the conductivity of the thing so that it works better because I can't think the rust is going to be very conducive to what we're trying to attempt here. The neodymium magnets are still attached. Now we have one stack of six with the rounded end touching the top leg of our magnet here and on the bottom we have another stack of six with the flat end connected. So I've just left it because it can't hurt to leave it. You know, it's, it's not going to overcharge the thing. I'm hoping that there is enough kind of relayed into the thing that it's, it's going to give us a fairly decent magnet at the end of it. Um, I'm not able to find a magnet to replace this one, which would have been the easiest option, but I'm still looking, but it really has to be specific dimensions, both to fit in the box, but also to attach to this machine. Um, so all the parts are, are working. So if anyone knows where I can get a real big selection of magnets, I mean, I, I've trawled online. I've come up short every time, or even if there's a custom place, does them. I don't know if that's a thing. If there's anyone watching that knows of someone in Glasgow that would be able to to charge the thing and with the idea of the, the car battery and wire filament uh, to, to recharge the magnet, um, I'm into that. I will come to you <laughs> if, if it's possible and I'll certainly attempt to, to cover you for your time uh, on this because I really want to, to get it working. It's become something of a, a necessary project for me to complete at this point because um, I have spent quite a lot of time on it. So we'll see how it goes. The next video you'll get, the part three, will be technically the last video where we put it back together again and we'll find out if it works, how well it works. I'm not saying there's not going to be follow-up video after that if I'm able to either obtain a magnet or properly recharge this magnet. All right, so I'll see you then for the third one. Take care.